could the potential return of Nigel Farage spell curtains for the Tory party? Well, if you didn't think the Conservative Party were already finished and the editor of the Sunday Telegraph, Alistair Heath, says the final blow could be dealt by my fellow GB News presenter if he dusts off his electioneering togs. Well, joining us now is the political commentator, Stephen Carlton Woods. Welcome to the show, Stephen. Thank it must be Martin. the Conservative Party's worst nightmare. The polls are already sinking. Lee Anderson has crossed the floor to the Reform Party. Could Nigel Farage coming back in spell disaster? Well, this is pure speculation. We've been speculating since Christmas. Would Nigel Farage join the Conservative Party? And evidently that's not the case anymore. Um, Nigel's view last October when I spoke to him about this, he said he couldn't join a party that's not a Conservative Party. And if it ever, ever did become a Conservative Party again, he may think about it. So I think that's the end of the story with regards to Nigel Farage joining the Conservative Party. I do think there's a number of people, though, that don't care what happens with the Conservative Party as long as their agenda reaches through. And I'm talking about the left of the Conservative Party because there is a clear left within the Conservative Party, and they don't want anyone from the right to have any influence within the party. And we've seen people over history that's been slightly to the right and they've ousted them out in one way or another. So I don't think having people from the right is the death of the Conservative Party. I think the lack of having people on the right would be the death of the Conservative Party. But Stephen, let's um, hypothesise the stage further and it's Nigel Farage not joining the Conservative Party, but coming back as the rabble rouser, the campaign manager on those open top buses across the red wall alongside people like Lee Anderson and perhaps as many as nine others crossing the floor. If all of those runes line up, Stephen, and people are going to start thinking, well, where is the real Conservative Party? It might be the Reform Party with Nigel Farage and Lee Anderson at the helm. Or is that just going to let Sakia Starmer straight into number 10? Oh, I don't know. I think we're missing out another organisation here called the Conservative Democratic Organisation. Uh, David Campbell Bannerman's currently the chairman of that. And that's uh, another branch of the Conservatives that seem to think that uh, they need to be doing things in a different way. And they were in talks of trying to uh, get their own way some time ago, and uh, they didn't quite get the numbers of support from the right of the party. So you might have little bands of people. We've seen it in history before with other people doing it, like the Gang of Four that made uh, that we've got the Liberal Democrats from that today. Um, so I don't think it's really going to have a long-term impact on politics. But I do think the Conservative Party needs to have a rethink of what direction they're going, because uh, they seem to be hemorrhaging uh, hemorrhaging support at the moment. 